in Rapitala, the name itself, it's something unique. You have to think that this name was given more than 1,000 years ago. There are two possible roots of this name, like Rabat or Rabit. Rabat is land, Rabit is like stronghold. So it's like the, the land of God or the stronghold of, stronghold of God. So it's, uh, in any case, it means that it was known that was a wonderful, a special place where to grow vineyard in that case, because it has always been cultivated with vineyards. I am Laurent de la Gatine from Rapitala. We are in Sicily, in the northwest part of the island, so not too far from Palermo, in the Alcamo BOC area. Sicily has been really a melting pot of every domination, every culture that passes through. So, starting with the Phoenician, the Greek, the Romans, the Arabs, the Normans, the, the Spanish, the, the French, the Germans, everybody passed through Sicily. But I, I like to say that at the end, yes, Sicily was conquered by everybody. But at the end, everyone was conquered by Sicily. Everybody left so much in history, in arts, in culture. So nowadays, Sicily is really a, a unique melting pot. When we speak about Sicily being like a continent in miniature, is that in every, in every sides, I mean, in culture, in art, in wine, this is Sicily. We are a little bit of everything. I told you that Sicily is a continent in miniature. And it's true. You have to think that Sicily is squeezed between European soil, European uh, area and African. So it's the melting of, of the two uh, soils. We are in the European part, or in the European part. Uh, it's more, I mean, the soil is clay and the more you go up in the hill of Rapitala, the more sand you find, more sand you find in the, in the, in the soil, still clay. Yeah, generally speaking. I can say now to be the third generation of wine producer from France to Sicily. Uh, in 68 they decided to change everything. Yeah, that was the year of the earthquake in Sicily, 1968, of the Valle del Belice earthquake. So all uh, the building in Rapitala, that was my mother's family estate, collapsed due to the earthquake. And they decided to rebuild, to rebuild everything and uh, to finally bottle the wine. So we have been the third winery coming to the market in the early 70s, uh, bottling quality wine in Sicily. And being French, we started already at that time to plant French varieties, beside the indigenous ones, like Cataracto, Nero d'Avola, Grillo. We started planting Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Pinot Noir. So we have been like really pioneers at that time. Well, we brought we brought French concept in that in that garden of God, uh, planting French varieties, indigenous varieties, but uh, planting them at different altitude. Well, Rapitala goes from 1,000 to 2,000 feet. It's all exposed north, 550 acres, all in one block. So just to have an idea of how beautiful it is. French concept in the sense that. Every parcel, every zone, has its own character, has its own personality. Uh, this is how we, we, then we can really make so many products with their own particular personality. Because we really know very well about the raw, we can really choose and pick every parcel, even among the same variety, you know, playing, with the same variety of different altitudes. It means you're playing with structure, acidity, 
and so for us this parcel is better in the, in the blend of that wine or in the other one so it's like uh, writing even a DNA Even with the same variety, you can have so different wines because where it's cultivated, who does it, the, 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 their style. So I always say, okay, if you like like mineral wines, the Etna is perfect. If you like the California style, heavy, like Baroque, like the art, you know, go to the south. If you like elegant wine, come to, to Rapitala. Not just because we are half French and of Sicilian, as I say, uh, but really it's, uh, we brought our style, of course, more elegant, more, uh, uh, we research more the balance. We have a terroir that let us to do that. So it's the best style for the best terroir, in a certain sense. So I have a lot of friends that around the world that they say, oh no, but Sicilian wine, heavy and that, try my wines. And they were, oh, is that Sicilian? <laughs> they were quite surprised. So it's really, uh, with Sicily, I mean, don't say you like or you don't Sicily at the first, when you try just one wine. Because I'm sure that Rapicala or where, I mean, Sicily in general, if you like wines, you will find your wines in Sicily. That's true. Thank you.